Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some crazy exes that just can't seem to let it go. I'm literally shaking, hold on. I'm shaking mad. This is how mad I am right now. I'm shaking mad. I'm trying not to scream, so I'm trying to keep my volume down. <laughs> but my boyfriend's ex has had this issue of saying, I can talk to my high school sweetheart whenever I want. It's called shadow work, honey. I know what shadow work is and trying to talk to your ex saying you miss him and you love him and you just want a reason to talk to him and talk about your issues and bail about your issues honey that's not shadow work <laughs> that's you getting attached to your past and not being able to let go so it prevents you from doing your shadow work she texted him again today i'm sorry yesterday because it's 4 uh, p.m oh, uh, a.m <laughs> 4 a.m and he, she texted at 6 p.m and I just saw it right now. I just saw it right now. <clears throat> this is what she said. She said, Happy Father's Day. I said, Yo, I know you did not, bruh. He's not a dad. He's not a dad. <laughs> <yet."> <laughs> but he's not a dad. So she just finds any excuse to be able to talk to him. She hasn't responded yet because it's 4 a.m. But I'm gonna come back when she responds and I'm gonna let you guys know because both both she responded. It's 4 48 a.m. and she responded. So I said, You really got some issues if you're texting your ex, aka my man, that when he don't even have no kid. And excuse I'm sorry, any excuse, seriously, move on. Seriously. And she actually said, did not text him, texted you. I said, I'm a woman not a father she said okay sorry for being nice i said honestly it's not what you said that's the issue it's the fact that you're texting me aka your ex's girl it's uncalled for i asked for no communicate for communication to be cut off which means even on special days leave us alone and she said bye bye and i said bye now because she was calm and level-headed right i'm supposed to be like oh my god i feel so bad but like i'm not going to don't i'm not gonna feel bad and I'm not going to think that you had a right to even say Happy Father's Day to a woman. Do I look like a dad to you, honey? Honey. Oh my I'm dad. I'm just so happy that this is how it went. I'm so happy that she said bye-bye. And I'm hoping that it is literally the last time that she ever talks to I us. doubt it. Because what the f***? You can't tell me that that wasn't weird. Like, you can't tell me that that wasn't weird. Are you gonna take okay if you're single right now and you were like in love with your ex and he's like with another girl for like a year now would you text his girlfriend happy father's day when you guys don't even have a kid i wouldn't also side note do you notice how she's saved in her phone as nah <laughs> All right, it's always nice to be friends with your ex, to be amicable, you know, especially when there's like kids involved and stuff. But like, if there's no kids and they're in a relationship, why are we trying to maintain a friendship? Why? Why does that need to happen? Why does that need to be there? It doesn't, it doesn't. I think the only time when I feel like it would be appropriate is if she, the ex was also in a relationship, but she's 100% looking for any excuse to like stay in the orbit, as I like to say. Not you having the contact under nah. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. Look at us. Great minds, great minds. When my boyfriend's ex watches my stories. Ooh, ooh, creepy, ooh, creepy. This is the orbiting, orbiting. We like to stay in the orbit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> just leave her a nice little Easter egg, you know? At that point, it's also like, mm, let's just block them. But like, be honest, we're women. We will find a way to creep you. <laughs> so if she wants a show, give her a show. This dollar head is so crazy. Oh, hell no. Is that an air tag? That is an air tag. We be tracking with the air tags now. That's kind of ingenious though. Where'd she, where'd she put that? Is that in the car? Don't get any ideas. Excuse me. 
Especially if the car is like nice and banged up and there's already duct tape in there. Be difficult to notice. Seeing all these makes me check my Bluetooth every time I get in my car. Girl, that's how I found it. I got a notification on my phone. Hold on. Do we get notifications that AirTags are nearby when it's not our AirTag? I didn't know that. My mind just doesn't think this way. I'm not a crazy ex. When we're done, we're freaking done. Finito. And it's sad, you know. We went from lovers to like strangers, as the song says. But like, can you ever really move on when your ex is in your life? My ex-wife, who I divorced in 2018, is trying to ruin the first relationship I've attempted since the divorce by lying about how the divorce went down. I've been dating a wonderful woman who's been a great match for me overall. We started dating in August of 2020. I got divorced in January of 2018 and took a couple years off dating, did a year of therapy, traveled until COVID hit, and then tried to improve myself before getting into another relationship. Full disclosure is I cheated on my ex-wife after five years of marriage due to the fact that we never were romantic. Mm, okay. Yeah. I got involved in a church around age 24, met my ex-wife, we married within a year. She wanted to save herself for marriage. We did that, but once we got married, she was still never willing to be romantic with me. Okay, 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 a little sus. She told everyone in the family and every mutual friend we had. Then I had to tell them the full situation and be embarrassed slash have my personal info out there. But yeah, basically I still to this day have never Oh, never, oh, you still haven't oh, been romantic with your ex-wife once. Okay, oh, that is very interesting. She remarried the same year, we got divorced and I've not tried to contact her or anything since. I thought we were done. We're not Facebook friends or anything anymore, onto the issue. I did tell my current partner about my past infidelity in its entirety and she was understanding and empathetic and appreciative of my honesty. However, my ex messaged my girlfriend on Facebook, not sure how she found her and told her to watch out for my web of life. Lies. She gave a very fictional story of what happened. She's basically saying that I denied her <laughs> for years and that she begged me for it weekly and I denied her. It was the opposite. She said after five years of denying her, I cheated. I own up to my mistakes, but she's peddling a fiction that only shines her in a positive light and me in a negative light. Oh, this is weird. This is a weird one. How do I handle my ex in this situation? I blocked her on everything I know of, and I can't think of how she even got my girlfriend's info. We aren't even shown as in a relationship on Facebook or anything like that. We have some pictures together, but our accounts are private. My girlfriend has my back and believes me due to the fact that I'm not showing signs of zero interest in her and just the fact that I was honest initially. I'm wondering how people have dealt with prying exes trying to ruin their lives in the age of computing where it seems like anyone can figure anything out about anyone if they try hard enough. It's kind of creepy. Listen, you shouldn't have cheated. However, it's a little weird that like, she's like, oh, let's wait for marriage and then still nothing. I don't know, that's, uh, that's an odd one. That's definitely an odd one. But I would say that your ex is a little bit obsessed. And I think that it doesn't necessarily matter if she's obsessed or not, only that it doesn't affect your current relationship. If it gets a little creepier, maybe we gotta think about like a restraining order. Okay, nice little restraining order, slap that. But yeah, unfortunately there is no way to stop her from checking in on you. There, it's very likely that like a mutual friend or family member told her about your new relationship. I find it kind of weird that she's even still like hung up on it because clearly she wasn't really that attracted to you to begin with. <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not saying you're not attractive. She just wasn't into it. Or maybe she's asexual, I don't know. Like when you first started, I was like thinking, oh wow, okay, so she denied you, you know, the, the- The gig -a goo The nice little gig -a goo That's kind of judgmental, but if she like, never gave you the giggity goo. I, I, in this situation, it's like, okay, but why are you married to this person if you're not like randy about them, you know? Giggity goo giggity gee all night long, all day long. That's the way it should be. You're doing each of you a disservice if you're not interested in each other in that way. That's a weird one, a weird one. She's stumped. When you cheat on your boyfriend with your horrible ex, my ex and I dated from the start of 2018 till January this year. Pretty much our relationship got toxic and I found out he was cheating on me the whole three years we were together. Yeah. So I ended things in January and moved out. Mm -hmm. I started hanging out with my now boyfriend in February and we made it official in May. Right? Congrats. So we've been together six months now. Mm -hmm. 
But the thing is, I was still sleeping with my ex when we were talking, which is stupid because of what he did to me. I also slept with my ex about three times in May, June, and realized how stupid I was, so I stopped and didn't tell anyone. So she cheated on him? Yeah. Within with the her. first few weeks? Yeah. Should I tell him I cheated at the beginning, or is it too late? You have a lovely boyfriend, and you went back to your <laughs> box ex <laughs> and slept with him three Just times. Having... You made it official in May. And then in May and June, you were uh, hopping back on the on no. the yes. yeah. on the Xbox, that little no. toggle stick. I guarantee if you ran into the X on a night out, yeah, you'd be going back. You would. It's that familiar. Familiar? Oh yeah. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's about. Well, yeah, it might be. Yeah. <laughs> if it was when you guys weren't official, I would say. It is what it is. Everybody has talking stages. You know, lots of people are talking to multiple people at once during that talking stage, because it's like, I'm sorry, if you don't like lock it down, I'm gonna talk to more than one person. It seems like you guys were already official, in which case you should probably tell him. Yeah, you should. But understand that you guys probably will break up. I don't know, would you tell your boyfriend in that situation? I mean, you shouldn't have done it in the first place if you worried about the consequences, you know? Like, that's why I just don't understand about cheating. Like, how is it ever a good idea? You're, it's gonna like, it's gonna eat you up inside and it's gonna ruin the relationship that you have. So why do it? Like, how could you possibly cheat on a person that you love? Could never be me, babe, could never be me. But I understand that sometimes it happens. In which case, you gotta come clean. PSA, please don't tell me your ex-girlfriend's name. If we're seeing each other, don't tell me your ex-girlfriend's name, please. Yeah, don't even give me an initial. Because I'll go, oh, I'm not gonna look. It'll just piss me off. You're gonna look. To look. You're gonna I'm look. look. <laughs> um, but I will. And next thing you know, um, I know her national insurance number. It's written down in my notes. I've got her grandma's address on Google Maps. And I know what a pet cat was called when she was three. And I'm getting my lashes done by her. Stop! On Wednesday. So just keep it to yourself. Because uh, I don't want to dye my hair red because she had red no! hair in 2013 when you went out with her in year eight. Just pretend you've never met a girl until me, apart from your mum. Maybe not even your mum. No, that's a joke. But Hang yeah, on. Hang on. Okay. You had me at I'm going to like know everything about her. And then it was like, oh, wow, you're going to get your lashes done by her. Ooh, why must we know? Why must we know them? Why must we be so curious? Is it because we want them to not be as good as us? I can understand the snooping. Okay. We do a little bit of snooping in this house. <laughs> Snoopity snoop, snoopity snoop. However. I think going to get your lashes done by her, you know, she could like blind you, right? If she like finds out or if she knows who you are, she could like, something bad could happen. Keep a safe distance. And also it's creepy. Don't be creepy, babe. Come on, it's creepy. No, because her name was tattooed on his leg, could not escape it, let me die. Oh, weird. I'd have projectile vomited. Ooh, 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 tattoos, ooh. Oh, absolutely not. Can we show our love in other ways that are like less permanent on our body, you know? Did I just tell on myself? Maybe, but like, I don't have any tattoos to begin with, so I don't see the point. I don't want anything permanently on my body, let alone my boyfriend or ex's name. Let's ask the audience. Should I get back with my ex after he was romantic with his crazy ex? I never thought I'd write a post on here, but I'm honestly conflicted on my current situation and need some good, honest advice and knowledge. I, 20 year old female, had broken up with my ex, 24 year old male, of a year due to a change of life circumstances that we both agreed would negatively affect each other. Even though we both had strong love for each other, we realized love was not enough. It wasn't long after our breakup that he was trying to meet up and see me. However, I made it clear to him that I was taking the breakup serious. I was going through a lot with my family and didn't need the drama he was insinuating in my life. I ended up meeting someone new during the course of our breakup, but I constantly wanted to take things slow as I wasn't ready for another relationship. That little relationship also ended because of differentiating life circumstances, distance, and honestly, turned really bad. My ex never stopped trying to contact me and meet up with me during our time apart, asking what it would take just to see me. Once I became single again, I finally decided to give it a chance. I evaluated the pros and cons and came to the conclusion that talking to and seeing him couldn't hurt. Ah! If you need closure, just like block them. <laughs> Long story short, I ended up finding out that he slept with his ex, but this was not just any ex. It was the ex before me that had cheated on him that would constantly find a way to message and call him, although blocked. She would make TikToks about him, put the self-harm card out when she found out he'd been talking to me. I never let it get to me during our relationship because he made it clear that he despised and disliked her so much and that I was his 
dream girl and future wife to be. It never really fussed me either because her actions screamed desperate and psychotic. Anyhow, upon finding out that he smoozled with her, I was and I'm honestly hurt and conflicted. He says it was nothing deep, that if I just saw him when he asked, this wouldn't have happened. Wait, he wouldn't have cheated or you wouldn't have found out? Out of all the people he could have he could have moved with, why did he have to be her? It's really pulling me back from even talking to him. But then again, we weren't together. Okay. And I have pursued a whole other deep and meaningful situationship. <laughs> Help, what should I do? How would you feel? I would feel weird about him getting together with someone that he said that he would never get together with. Cause then that makes me question like, why were you keeping her around? Like, why were you like, what the, the situation is like over, you guys break up and then, then he just like immediately runs to his ex who cheated on him. Okay, got that wrong. I think that the past is the past. There is such a thing as right person, wrong timing, but this person isn't right for you to begin with. There's a reason why you broke up. You should stick to that reason. Yeah. It's also kind of like weird that he was totally okay with like going for someone who seems so, quote, desperate and psychotic. Ick, ick, you know, nice little ick. <laughs> Drop in my mouth a little bit. Video's over, subscribe.